Hello, ladies. Well, here we are. It is now the fall winter of 2023 and 24. And without a doubt, we are talking about my favorite seasons of the year. I love the fabrics, I love the colors, and I love the fact that women have to somewhat cover themselves up a little bit <laughs> now and then. The older we get, the more we want to do that. Well, we're going to get started, and I'm going to start with color. So the first colors that you're going to see on the screen, uh, this, uh, the seven colors, first seven colors, is what we call rose violet, which to you and I, we call it hot pink, and that works the best. Then there is the, the trend, uh, what we call the trend peach, the tender peach, I apologize, the tender peach. Then we have yellow, and it's a true lemon yellow, not gold, but a lemon yellow. The reds this season are very strong. From true, what I call a true red, to a, a very deep, uh, uh, dark burgundy red. So anywhere in those in that range is what we're going to be seeing in color. We have some of the warmer colors. We've got uh, the orange. We've got the, the burnt sienna. Then let's look at some of the neutrals that are strong. By the way, between uh, the neutral shades, gray is the number one color this season. Not a, not a charcoal gray as much, but a medium gray to light gray. Also, under color, we, as I said, we have the vivid pinks. We have our navy blue this season is what I call a, a, a cadet blue uh, or a bright blue in, in coloring. And then we have the apricots and all these various wonderful, we have persimmon, as we see here in the in the soft uh, lavender uh, blue tones. We have, you and I probably would have called the second picture mint green, and they call it carnival glass, all right? Then we have uh, the kohlrabi which is the green that has a very warm trait to it. I love it. And a lot of times, because it's so intense, uh, winters wear this uh, mixed with navies and blues and uh, grays and different shades that are so attractive. We have the silver birch. By the way, uh, metal-wise, it's both silver and gold. Then we have what we call the, the coconut milk color. Um, the next is, is that brighter navy. Next we have the, um, the hot fudge, which is brown and some of the burnt uh, orange tones. And we have um, a, a camel, a soft camel t color. They call it dove. And I think that uh, sums it up very well. I want to say this season with fashion, the easiest way to look at it is in three basic words, and, and that certainly is softer. It's much softer this season. It's much more understated. We're not wearing a lot of elaborate jewelry, um, some of those more intense looks for the average woman. She doesn't even have to think, but please wear earrings always that finishes the look no matter what. And we have, um, still in this season is, uh, along with the softness, we have quality. The looks are quality, but softer and understated, sums it up. Now let's take a look at what's going on with skirts. If I don't mention something, it's simply because it's still in fashion. A pencil skirt is in fashion. A, um, a pleated skirt is still fine. But these are the strong pieces that you might want to add to your look. The circular skirt. And by the way, that's why we have crop, so many crop jackets this season, is because of the circular, fuller skirts. 
and you can see it here in the two pictures. Next, and by the way, there's our gray that we talked about and um, our navy, but broad shoulders, uh, strong shoulders is what we, what we choose. We call them power shoulders. And that's what, what you see here. Then we have what we call all denim. And that simply means all over denim. <laughs> Whether it's a top, a jacket and a pant uh, combination where it's uh, a little more dressy or whether we have a very casual look as you see in these two pictures. Those are, are great, great looks in denim. Denim will never go out. I used to say many, many moons ago that it was short-lived and how wrong I was about that. Next, of course, are plaids. And <clears throat> we have the tartan plaids, they're beautiful. We see them in mini skirts. You young things just enjoy it. And by the way, in the picture, you'll notice to the knee boots, which is that's the style of boot this season. But then we'll see for that sporty natural, just a great plaid shirt to go with it. Notice that um, the, the lady in the sunglasses here, she's using a wrap. And that's what we're doing as well. For warmth, for, uh, for looks, we're making our scarves uh, weightier and, and very drapey, soft. When it comes to hats, we're going to talk about a bucket hat. That's simply, easily put, how to remember. And I think this, uh, the picture of this gal is an excellent illustration of a winter hat. The other thing I love about the hat, while it's functional and it's practical, it's also doesn't get blown off with the wind as we go into the winter months. But great, great look. And here once again are the scarves, whether it's the, the narrow longer, whether it is the, the wrap that we saw a couple minutes ago in the um, uh, tartan plaid, all of those are the trends that we're, we're working with. Let's talk about shoes for a minute. Let's get into accessories. I want to see, make sure that I haven't left out anything. I've talked about the broad shoulders. That this season, a red dress, not just for Christmas, but for any time is, is an in thing to include in your wardrobe. And leather, oh my goodness. I'm sitting in half leather today, suede and leather. And suede is just another version of leather. It's before they actually polish it up. So leather and feathers. I think you can remember that. Those are the key points of, um, uh, of fashion that's going on. And I think that gives you enough to work with to make a few fun changes to your look. Shoe trends. Very interesting, be it flat or in a heel, we're looking at very pointed toes again. I think you'll find it interesting. You'll find that the pointier the toe, um, the little bit broader the actual shoe bed uh, is, and that makes it a much more comfortable shoe to put on and still have the look. Heel height wise, we're, we're not so much into the five, five inch heels anymore. We're back down where it's comfortable to walk and the pump is strong, strong. Now let's take a look at boots. Your boots are just fine that you have now. Use them, wear them, enjoy them. The ankle boot is, is, uh, is always going to be strong and it, really never quite goes out of fashion. The style of the heel might date it, it might not. But the th trend this season is over the knee. And you'll notice how they're wearing it with um, a tighter fitting jean that the boot comes clear over with a split uh, um, uh, skirt. You'll see the, the over the, the knee jean with the, um, we're gonna see it with the little, um, mini skirts and we're going to see it in um, over the jean with a, with a um, cover-up that you see more of the the top and just the boot in itself. Now let's take a look at jewelry. 
If you're going to add something this season, it's going to be the cuff bracelets. They're probably the biggest, hottest thing going on in fashion. And by the way, if we're going to talk about belts, let's look at the key belt this season is the chain belt. And you'll see it here with jeans. You'll see it here with dress pants. You'll see it with a blazer. You'll see it with um, worn with a, uh, a sweater, like a turtleneck sweater um, outside the jean and the belt on it. But this is the look to focus on. Now let's talk about jewelry. As I said a few minutes ago, silver and gold are both in. Please note that the size of the earrings are changing. Um, we're not wearing the huge hoops anymore or some of those things. We're going to a much more reasonable size. And here are a few illustrations. If you like the big ones, wear them. You have them. You like them, enjoy them. Then we're going to look at brooches, and a brooch is always in style. A brooch may be actually a permanent finish on a garment, as you see in this outer coat with the CC, which stands for um, uh, Chanel, but you will see that it's actually attached, but looks like a pin. Then we have a cluster brooch a group and you can mix and match several things together and look very trendy in. Handbags this season. It's all about the handles on the handbags. Please take a look at these. It's so much fun. We have chains. We have metal handles. We have woven handles. And they're all so exciting. Now let's take a look at something that I think is, it's an issue that every one of us deals with. It's our body frame. And our body frame changes as we age. That's the reason why we need to um, periodically check it out. That's one of the things that we do for you on Apparel Advice. And you can simply go on appareladvice.com under body frames and see what we are talking about. When I say our body changes, we all know that. We know the average woman gains anywhere between 10 to 15 to 20 pounds as she goes from her, her late 20s into her 50s, etc., especially after menopause. There are four basic body frames. We have the V frame, as you see here. And what makes her a V is her shoulders are broader and her hips are narrower. And you'll notice that her legs are straight, very straight. In fact, the mistake, believe it or not, she makes is she loves to wear tight-fitting skinny things on the bottom because she's small there. And then she likes to, to downplay the top of her body. Well, if you put what's large over small, it only makes large look bigger. So here we see how we can maybe make her appear more in balance. She would be a perfect example to put on the circular skirt this year. Let that waist fit the waist because it's a little longer by nature. Um, her shoulders are going to be broader, so we're going to put her in a, a, a shorter jacket to go with the, the flared skirt. That's just one option she has. But pleated skirts are beautiful on her. Uh, she has many options. But the thing of it is, what I have found is you ladies, you know what you can't do. What you don't know is what you can do. And so I'm, I want you, please, to take a look at, at the appareladvice.com it will take you through a questionnaire of which I will evaluate and give you all kinds of recommendations. Um, we will have you do uh, photos of, of yourself and just something slim fitting. Uh, you certainly don't have to be in your underwear by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I just want to be able to get a picture of your um, actual body frame. So a loose shirt, not so good because I can't tell then 
if you have a waist, where your waist is at, etc. Then we have in, in what we call the, low, the high hip category, excuse me, high hipped is, your bone, is part of your bone structure. The V frame is, is high hipped. The H frame is high hipped. And that means that uh, how you fit clothes to that body frame is much different. The H frame, her shoulders are equal to the width of her hips, but she is not nearly uh, defined at the waistline. She's more straight up and down. And so it does make a difference what's going to go on her body. And in a few minutes, I want to talk to you about personal style as well. But what I want this segment to do for you is to give you ideas of what you can and should be doing with your body frame. If you are an age frame, that's what I do for you when you go on to apparel advice. Now we have the next two categories, which are low hip ladies. They have a tendency to be rounded thighs, um, more a rounded derriere, where the high hip ladies have next to no derriere at all to work with. But our low hipped certainly do. Our A frame, some people call it a pear shape. In other words, you're bigger in your hip and thigh than you are in your shoulder. So what do I want to do with her? I want to build her shoulders out and, and calm down the hips to make it look balanced. The illusion, dressing the human body is an optical illusion. And that's what I want to do for all of you. All right, now that's the, the pear shape, the A-frame body. Now let's look at the figure eight. Lots of you are figure eights, and some of you kind of lose it as, as we mature in life. I don't believe in aging, but I do believe in maturing. And so here we'll see this gal. She has um, uh, somewhat, she's about one inch broader in the shoulder than she is in the hip. And she's about 10 inches smaller in her waist. She has a nice curved thigh and nice curved buttocks that all kind of goes together to to harmonize her look. Now let's take a look at clothing personality. The only way I can do clothing personality is to have you fill out a questionnaire. Once again, if you go on to apparel advice, you will be provided with a questionnaire that you fill out, I evaluate, and then I determine what is your best style, what to wear and what to avoid. I think some of the biggest things I see happening with women is that when you open up your closet, there are all these different personalities that step out. Therefore, you have nothing that harmonizes with one another. You have outfits, but you don't have the ability to take less lesser things, by lesser things I mean fewer things, um, and make them into multiples. We've done a segment here on capsule wardrobing, and out of about 15 uh, to 18 garments, we've created over 50 looks from those, from those garments. Why do they work? Because we have stayed within a general personality trait of, of, of an individual. So let's take a look at the four basic categories that you will fall into. A lot of times you are dominant in one and secondary in another. And do remember one thing, we wear 80% of the time, 20% of what we own. So what are you doing with the rest of the clothes in your closet? They're just hanging there, taking up space, and you don't even sometimes know what you have. Clothing is so inexpensive these days, although it is getting pricier, but it's still very inexpensive if we want it to be. Whether you shop at a TJ's, at Target's, at Kohl's, wh wherever you choose to shop, you're going to find price ranges that are very reasonable. And you're gonna find quality. If you are, if you are a, 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 a focused shopper and you don't have to spend a lot of time at it either. 
Let's start with what I call my natural, my sporty natural. She wants her clothing to be easy. She wants it to be comfortable. Comfort is number one in her category. She looks beautiful in textures and fabrics. And here you will see um, the trend of the uh, tartan plaid in the pants she's wearing. And she is wearing the newer look in a pant right, right now. The cable knit, heavy coarse knit uh, sweater and just a simple coat uh, over it, a, um, a trench style coat and the bucket hat. And I think it's just a great look for her when she wants to dress up a little more. She is the jeans girl, but you all are. You all can wear denim jeans. They just have different styles to work best on you. And that's what we do on Apparel Advice. We give you the styles that are best for your personality type in your body frames. Next we have in this grouping, the classic. And by the way, if I dress a natural and a classic look, she looks matronly. It's so interesting uh, to see when we make mistakes. She thinks, well, I need a more classic look when I dress up. Not necessarily, unless she has the, the body frame and appearance to do that. The classic look, well, we have somebody like uh, Princess Catherine, who is a classic through and through. We look at this coat. She could have bought that coat eight years ago, or she could buy it today. And it's a very in color, if you remember the trends I talked about. But this coat is a wonderful coat, and it's going to last her for years. That three-quarter length, or actually, we actually call this a seven-eighths length, length coat. It's just above the knee. And she wears all those soft, easy, in one sense, um, uh, garments. But she does like a sense of structure to her clothes. And she has it here in this coat that we're showing you today. Um, it's, it's just a beautiful look. And she wears it so well. She is not a multiple color person. She sometimes will um, wear two, two different colors together, but to get her into multiple colors, she becomes very uncomfortable. And the one trait I notice that she does way too often is because she wears a very classic cut in a shoe, she wears her shoes too long. And they need to be replaced sometimes before her garments need to be replaced. So keep that in mind. The romantic look, we think of a, a Jennifer Lopez. It can be certainly very sexy, but it doesn't have to be off the charts. She loves and feels best when she feels her clothes against her body. She hates loose. She hates bulky. She does not wear bulk well. And if she does, please note the, the wonderful shag fur fake for jacket that she has here that's very soft, very feminine, very lush, with a simple sweater that's fitted to the waist or just beneath the waist, and a leather tight-fitting long pant. She's going to put that on with a high heel, and she's going to carry a bag that will coordinate either with the color that she's wearing in the pant or the color in, in the gray that's with this particular loop, uh, excuse me, with the particular um, look that she has going here. She, it's a soft, it's not bulky, it's feminine. Next we have the dramatic. And I relate to her, although I'm a combination. And based on my lifestyle these days, I have to be a little more classic at times than I am dramatic, but I can't get away from my dramatic look. I love the, the jacket that she's wearing. Here in the picture, the oversized, the oversized um, collar, the oversized pleating at the waist. This is just 
one look that she wears extremely, extremely well. And, and uh, Celine Dion is a, is a real good example of a dramatic. Well, that catches us up now to this season and in terms of fashion. It brings us back to a reality of where we need to be. You know, if I may say, I know our society is very casual now. We don't dress as, as much as we used to, but there's still many occasions, and there are many of you who work in offices, etc., that do require a, a, a look that is far beyond dressy casual. So keep that in mind. Thank you. That's a great opportunity to spend time with you today. Have a great day. Have a great season upcoming.